Entre Days is a simulation game in which you will be managing a small and abandoned winery. Hi everyone, my name is Elisa and I am the co-founder of Broken Arms Games, a small independent video game studio based in the lovely countryside of Italy in a, an amazing winery making region. We are a small indie team made of six people, amazing, talented people, coder, artists. Uh, we have previously developed a game for mobile, console, and PC, and we are here to present you our new one. What you're going to see right now is a sort of a making of of Under Days. We are a team of strong people connected with our roots and our heritage, and we want to convey all, all our passion to all of you players out there. Hundred Days is a game about winemaking that involves balancing resources and managing time. Making wine must be understood as a complex art, and to be a successful winemaker, you'll need to get a grasp of chemistry, live by a strict routine, have a bit of luck, and infuse your craft with a lot of passion. The game will put you in charge of managing a small and abandoned winery. From selecting the types of vine you want to grow, to naming your final product, every decision of the challenging business of winemaking will be in your hands. Each turn will represent a day in your new life. Once your business is up and running, attention to details will be key to succeeding in your endeavours. Broken Arms Games, as a studio, is based in the Italian region of Piemonte which is renowned for the production of world-famous wines. The entire team is deeply connected with the cultural heritage of the region, and this makes the experience depicted in the game a truly realistic simulation. 100 Days takes pride in offering the player a thorough experience. Real data provided from local winemaking businesses have been used and implemented in the game. The release of the game is expected in the first half of 2021, first on PC, then on console and mobile platforms. Probably right now you know a little bit more about 100 Days, but let's dive into uh, gameplay. I'll guide you through a little bit of a playthrough and try to look out for the little details. There is a ton of there. Hi everyone, welcome to 100 Days Wine Making Simulator. Um, in this little gameplay walkthrough video, I will guide you a little bit into the game and show you the hidden secrets of wine making. Mm. What, you're gonna, what you see right now is your, where you, as a player, you will start. So this is your winery. Uh, the board at the center of the screen represents your daytime, and the cards are the different activities you have to put on the, on the board and in order to, to process them. Of course, if you're new to winemaking and you don't know those words, what they, are meaning, what they mean, you can click on the info button and have some information. Those information will guide, guide you in taking decision if we want to do one first or the other. Uh, so let's start with a little bit of crop thinning. We want to make sure that our plants on, on the Brico vineyards have the best quality ever uh, because they are growing grapes at the moment. And let's cut some grass and uh, so we, we make sure we can walk through easily when we need to harvest. And then we can move to the next turn. And yeah, those, those activities will take longer, so we'll, they will stay on the board for a longer, longer time. Um, let's see what happens next. Yay, we finally cleared out everything. It's the end of summer, so we have not so much to do. What we can do is try to find if we can buy another piece of land. Castellet is a little bit out of range, unfortunately, out of budget. But let's see with Principe. Yes, we can buy, we can definitely buy it. 
uh, as soon as we buy new land before planting and everything, we'll have to do some little work, uh, clearing to start mm, from, a, from a clear surface and then plowing the, the terrain a, lot, a little bit. We are getting into fall, so everything is turning brown and orange. Um, I would probably play this one. Yeah, let's see. Should be fine. It's finally harvest season. We we can start harvesting our vineyards, but of course it's raining, so we are unlucky this time, and we cannot start any outdoor activities while it's raining. Let's mm, check the ripeness status of our grapes. I think that they they look pretty pretty decent and fine to me. So we we can. They are not 100% ready, but we can start. As We are finally able to start harvesting. Uh, we can also plant new vineyards on Principe, but unfortunately we don't have enough space to do it, so we will need to postpone it. Harvest is kind of a mm, really hard job and it needs all our time and effort. It will take a bit more. It's longer as well, so it's quite a long process for us. It's finally over with the harvest, so we can finally transform those grapes into must and then wine. Uh, we have one available tank, so we're gonna select it and we then move forward. At the same time, we can prune. So pruning is one of these uh, of those jobs that will actually um, create the the best uh, condition for the future. So um, we can only prune with the GUIO system. Uh, the other two are locked uh, at the moment, and we can choose how many buds we want. Higher the number of buds, higher quantity of grapes, lower quality. We want to go for a medium selection, so we have less grape but a better quality. Let's crush the grapes and see if we can plant. Uh, we don't. We cannot fit all of those work together. Maybe not. Next time. Fermentation is the process that will transform the um, sugar into the grapes into alcohol. Uh, we want to do a shorter fermentation. We don't want this task to, to take so much space on, uh, on the board. Um, we can only use native yeast at the moment. Uh, let's find the different, the, we have different um, techniques for fermentation. Uh, let's find something that will extract a little bit of tannin. Um, Barbera is, is one of those great variety and wine that mm, is more on the acidic side, so it doesn't need too much tannin. Uh, when we plant, as, uh, now finally we have time to plant, and when we, we do it, we can choose how many plants we want to, to put for, for every hectare. Uh, let's try to stay into our budget uh, as much as possible. It's still winter, a little bit foggy, unfortunately. Yay, we planted and now we can put down all, uh, all the different poles uh, to make more stable our um, other plants and our vineyard. We can go on with the pressing our wine. Pressing is the process on which we, we press what's left from fermentation. Um, this will extract a lot of tannin. As I said before, but there is one of those wine that wants more acidity than tannin. So let's try not to grow too much tannin, but at the same time, we want a little bit of body. It's spring again, so we have a lot of things to do. Nature doesn't stop ever. So let's take care of the of the grass in the vineyards. Let's take care of our plants and see and make them grow stronger. Mm, let's bottle. Even the fermentation is over and all the transformation process so we can start um, bottling our wine. This is my favorite part because I can be creative and create the best image possible for my wine. I can choose different type of closures, corks and stuff. I would, I would go for a synthetic one. It's Price is in in our price range. I can change the, the the shape of the bottle. I like the the Bordeaux one, and I can change change the the color of the glass. Because we are mm, bottling a red wine, I would suggest to go for a darker color. And I can finally edit my label. I like to have uh, natural elements on um, on the label, so uh, I would probably go for a little bird. 
uh, with some pastel colors. I like to be, um, I would say, soft somehow. So let's see. I like it. And then I can change. I can change the label shape and going a little bit bigger and taller. I like this one too. I can name my wine finally um, because we have a bird on the label. I think that the bird is the the best name possible actually. So our board is almost full. We are pretty busy in this moment. Uh, we will do some suckling later, I think. Finally, our wine is ready to be tasted. Uh, before start to sell, before start to sell this wine, we need some critics' approval. So there is uh, someone coming into our winery and tasting our wine uh, to give us a sort of a rating, and based on that, we can then choose the price and how how we want to to sell this wine. So at the same time, we are doing a little bit of suckering, so we can uh, make sure that this vineyard is growing strong. We have a result of the tasting, so let's see. 65 uh, uh, out of 100, not bad. Could have done better, but like I'm, I'm fine with it. Of course, as I said before, this wine needed a little bit more body, so yeah. We finally have hoarders coming in, that's awesome. So after investing all this money into, into our winery, we can start selling wine. Um, we have basic customer, we have special orders. Um, we meet the requirements of the client, so they want 60 out of 100, we are 65, so we can click on the wine that fulfill the orders and sell it, and we'll have quite a huge earning out of it. Yes, uh, let's go with this one. The other one, we cannot afford it. And then we sell also a little bit to a private client. Let's dig a little bit into the um, building so you, I can show you what's inside. Uh, if we click on each separate building have their own machinery, equipment and structure, um, I can go through what we have in our winery. For example, right now we have just one tanks, but if I want to, to spend money and uh, to invest in my winery, I can buy a little bit more. So I can buy another one and yay, here it is. I can also adjust it and place it close to the others. I can do the same with the tool shed and um, unfortunately until now we are a small winery so we do everything by hands but I, I will be able later on to buy the, um, some machineries, some tractors, some that will help of course the process and, uh, and it will help to optimize uh, again more and more the, the wine production. Because it's summer, we still need to make sure that uh, everything is fine in, in, in our vineyards and nature keeps going on, so it doesn't stop ever. We have new orders to fulfill. Ooh, so many. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let's go. I don't have enough bottles to, to sell everything, but it's absolutely fine. That's, at least I'm starting to see some money coming back. So unfortunately, we reached the end for today. Um, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for um, staying with us. Android Days will come out on May 13 this year on PC and Google Stadia. Uh, follow us on social media. Stay tuned for your next winemaking adventure. Bye bye.